Mark Robinson, the fiery Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, is no stranger to controversy. Known for his outspoken views and passionate speeches, Robinson has often found himself at the center of political storms. His bold stance on various issues has earned him both staunch supporters and fierce critics, but this time he's taking it to court. Robinson has decided to challenge what he perceives as a grave injustice. He's suing CNN, claiming they smeared his name and jeopardized his political future. According to Robinson, the network's reports have crossed the line from journalism to defamation, causing significant harm to his reputation and career. This isn't just about Robinson. It's about the broader implications for public figures in the media. It's about the line between reporting and defamation. Where does responsible journalism end and character assassination begin? This case could set a precedent for future interactions between the media and public figures. It's about the power of media and the fight for a reputation. In today's digital age, a single news story can spread like wildfire, influencing public opinion and altering lives in an instant. Robinson's lawsuit has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. Politicians, journalists and the public are all watching closely, aware that the outcome could have far-reaching consequences. The stakes are high, the accusations are serious and the outcome is uncertain. Both sides are preparing for a fierce legal battle with each argument scrutinized under the public eye. One thing's for sure, this case is about more than just money. It's about principles, integrity, and the future of free speech. It's about the very principles of free speech and accountability in the digital age. As the case unfolds, it will challenge us to consider the balance between a free press and the rights of individuals, reminding us of the power and responsibility that come with our words. It all started with the CNN segment. The report focused on Robinson's stance on abortion. They accused him of encouraging violence against abortion providers. Robinson vehemently denies these claims. He says CNN twisted his words and took them out of context. Robinson's lawsuit alleges that CNN's reporting was malicious and politically motivated. They argue that CNN was trying to damage Robinson's reputation ahead of the upcoming election. Robinson, a staunch conservative is hoping to become North Carolina's next governor. Initially, Robinson's lawsuit demanded a whopping $50 million in damages. This eye-popping figure made headlines and raised eyebrows. However, in a surprising move, Robinson's legal team amended the lawsuit. They reduced the damages sought to $25,000. This strategic decision has sparked speculation. Some legal experts believe it's a sign that Robinson's case is weaker than initially perceived. By lowering the financial stakes, Robinson's team may be trying to avoid a lengthy and costly legal battle. CNN, for their part, stands by their reporting. They argue that their segment was fair and accurate. They point to Robinson's history of controversial statements. They also highlight his close ties to groups opposed to abortion rights. Robinson's legal team, however, claims that CNN's reporting was based on fabricated evidence. They allege that CNN relied on hacked data obtained illegally. This accusation, if proven true, could significantly weaken CNN's defense. Section 5, enter Louis Money, a wrench in the works. Adding another layer of complexity to this case is the involvement of Louis Money. Money, a self-proclaimed political activist, has been linked to the alleged hacking of Robinson's personal data. Money has denied any wrongdoing, but his involvement has raised serious questions about the validity of the evidence against Robinson. He has even filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit, claiming it infringes on his First Amendment rights. Section 6. Election on the horizon, a campaign in the balance. The stakes couldn't be higher as the North Carolina gubernatorial election looms large on the horizon. The timing of this lawsuit is no coincidence. It has been strategically filed to coincide with the peak of the election season, ensuring maximum impact on the voters' perception. With the North Carolina gubernatorial election just around the corner, the case has become a political football. Every debate, every rally and every speech is now tinged with the shadow of these allegations. Robinson's opponents have seized on the allegations against him, using them to paint him as unfit for office. 
They argue that his alleged actions are a clear indication of his character and suitability for leadership. Current polls show a tight race. The margin between Robinson and his closest competitor is razor thin, making every vote crucial. The outcome of the election could hinge on how voters perceive Robinson in light of these allegations. Will they see him as a victim of political maneuvering? Or will they believe the accusations and turn away? Will they believe CNN's reporting? The media's portrayal of the case has been relentless with round-the-clock coverage and expert analyses. Or will they side with Robinson's claims of a media witch hunt? His supporters are vocal, rallying around him and dismissing the allegations as baseless attacks orchestrated by his political enemies. The battle for public opinion is fierce and the final verdict will be delivered at the ballot box. Section 7, Public Perception, the Court of Public Opinion. In today's hyper-partisan climate, public perception is everything. The Court of Public Opinion often moves faster than the legal system, and in this case, the verdict is still out. Social media is abuzz with opinions on the lawsuit. Supporters of Robinson are rallying behind him, denouncing CNN and accusing them of bias. Critics, however, are pointing to the allegations as further evidence of Robinson's extremism. Section 8. The Stakes, Truth, Justice and the Future of a Campaign The outcome of this lawsuit could have far-reaching consequences. If Robinson wins, it could set a precedent for how media outlets report on political figures. It could also embolden other politicians to sue media organisations they deem critical of their views. If CNN prevails, it would be a victory for press freedom. It would reaffirm the media's right to scrutinise public figures, but it could also have a chilling effect on future reporting, particularly on sensitive and controversial topics. Section 9, what's next? The wheels of justice keep turning. The legal system is a complex and often slow-moving machine, but it is designed to ensure that justice is served. The legal battle between Mark Robinson and CNN is just beginning. This high-profile case has captured the attention of the nation with both sides preparing for a long and arduous fight. The wheels of justice turn slowly and it could be months or even years before a verdict is reached. The process involves numerous hearings, motions and potentially even appeals. In the meantime, both sides will continue to fight for their version of the truth. Legal teams will gather evidence, interview witnesses and build their cases, all while the public watches closely. This case is a stark reminder of the power of media, the importance of accountability and the role that journalism plays in our society. The media has the power to shape public opinion and influence the outcome of legal battles and the fragility of truth in the digital age. In an era where information spreads rapidly and misinformation can easily take hold, the pursuit of truth becomes even more critical. It's a story that will continue to unfold with new developments and revelations emerging over time. The public will remain engaged, eager to see how this legal drama plays out with potentially significant implications for politics, media and the legal landscape. The outcome of this case could set important precedents and influence future legal battles and the very fabric of our democracy. As we watch this case progress, we are reminded of the importance of justice, truth and the rule of law in maintaining a fair and just society.